Welcome to Mikon's Hardware. Today I have got you yet another Chinese X99 motherboard review. And this one is Machinist X99 MR9A. The motherboard looks rather nice and I actually like it. But first of all, I would like to mention that Russia is still terrorizing Ukraine, there are horrible things going on and this war is lasting for already almost three months. It is very important that we do not stop supporting Ukraine, because it is not possible to just dismiss a war. You can either win a war or lose the war. If we do not help Ukraine, if we don't stand for Ukraine to get a win in this war, the war will be lost and entire Europe will be threatened with these terrorists and barbarians. I am doing everything I could do, I have friends, I have relatives, and I just have known people which are helping in Ukraine, they are volunteers, they are militaries, and simply friends who are trying to do everything they could do. That's why I also ask you, please help us win this war and keep Europe and the entire world safe. Now let's go to our Machinist X99 MR9A motherboard. Since, according to YouTube statistics, most of you are not really interested in my blah 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 talk and most of you are just scrolling to the end of the video to see the conclusion and to understand if the motherboard is worth it or it is not worth it, if you shall or shall not buy it, I will go straight to the point and start with the most interesting parts. And the most interesting part of this motherboard is the VRAM. When I was looking at the AliExpress page and was thinking if I should buy this motherboard for review or no, I thought like, come on, this is just Machinist X99 RS9 with a three-phase VRAM and some extra PCI Express slots. Still, I have decided to buy the motherboard for test and I was very pleasantly surprised when I have removed this heatsink, which is actually slightly bigger than Machinist X99 RS9, and under the heatsink I have found MOSFET triplets instead of the MOSFET doublers. This means we're having one extra MOSFET on each phase. We're still having only three phases, each phase has a doubler, so it doubles into two phases, so in total we're having kind of like six phases, but on Machinist X99 RS9 we're having only two MOSFETs, on this one we have three MOSFETs. In this configuration the motherboard is able to withstand E5266 V3 with a Turbo Boost Unlock under stress test. As usual, I'm using ADA64 and after one hour of stress test, the motherboard temperature did not reach even 60 degrees Celsius. This is a very impressive result, especially if you keep in mind that all 10 cores of E5-2666 are running at 3.5 GHz. The next interesting and valuable feature of Machinist X99 MR9A is the PC Express connectivity. Unlike many other Chinese X99 motherboards, this one has connected all 40 PC Express lanes which are present on the Xeon E5 CPUs. What's interesting is that the first PC Express X4 slot is connected to the CPU, that means we're having a PC Express X4 3.0 connection. Usually Chinese X99 motherboards connecting this PCI Express X4 slot to the chipset and the speed is limited to PCI Express 2.0. Then the next two PCI Express X16 slots are also connected to the CPU and both of them are connected as X16. Also we are getting M.2 slot for PCI Express and VME SSDs. What's also interesting about Machinist X99 MR9A is that the sleep mode is actually working, so the Chinese are improving or maybe they are watching my reviews and trying to fix the points that I'm complaining about the most. But for the sleep mode you need to use 100x99 8MF BIOS. With this BIOS we're getting everything we need. We're getting PCI Express buffication, we're getting RAM timings, we're getting sleep mode and we're getting smart fan for the CPU fan connector. Here, unfortunately, just like any other Chinese X99 motherboard, the smartphone function is working only for the CPU fan header and only if you are connecting 4-pin PWM fans. The other fan connectors do not have smartphone function and if you are connecting 3-pin voltage regulated fans, these fans will be spinning at 100% speed. And of course, like many other Chinese X99, X79 motherboards, Machinist X99 um, R9A does not provide accurate readings about the motherboard temperature sensors. Here I need to emphasize that the CPU temperature can be read correctly, but the motherboard temperature sensors do not work. CPU power consumption is also not reported correctly. One more bigger issue is that the motherboard does not support SLI, even though we have two fully enabled PCI Express X16 slots. 
I am not sure why, but with the two identical NVIDIA GTX 760, I was not able to enable SLI in the NVIDIA control panel. What is even more disappointing is that for some reason my 760 stuck at PCI Express 1.1 speed. This is a very common issue among Chinese X99 motherboards when older graphics cards from 6000 and 7000 series from NVIDIA for some stupid and completely random reason are just stuck to PCI Express 1.1 connectivity. In my case, when I am testing with the GTX 1060, I do not have such problem and the graphics card is working at PCI Express 3.0 x16 as expected. But whenever I connect my GTX 760, it just blindly works at PCI Express 1.1 and I was not able to find a solution for this problem. One more important thing to mention are the CPUs with only 28 PCI Express lanes such as i7-5820K and i7-6800K. These CPUs are unlocked and they support overclocking, but since Machinist X99 MR9A uh, uses desktop chipset, we do not have any overclocking capabilities with this motherboard. And I think it is kind of pointless to use these CPUs with this motherboard, but if you happen to use such a CPU, you need to know that the first PC Express X4 slot is not working at all. The second PC Express X16 slot works as X8, and the last PC Express X16 slot works as PC Express X16. The M.2 slot also works. It is not the bad configuration, but it's also not the best one. If you are using Machinist X99 MR9A with a CPU that has only 28 PCI Express lanes, you need to install your graphics card into the second PCI Express X16 slot because the first one is limited to just X8 connectivity. All the technical details of my testing you will see in my slides, but overall I really like Machinist X99 MR9A motherboard. First of all, it's because of the VRM. The VRM is significantly better than on the cheap Machine SX99 RS9, the heatsink is also slightly bigger. And of course, we are getting all 40 PCI Express lanes connected on the motherboard, which is rather awesome. Another important thing is the price. Right now, the motherboard costs about 60-80 euros, depends on how much VAT you have to pay in your country. This is even cheaper than Machinist X99 RS9, and if I would not be limited to M80X form factor, I would definitely go with this one. As I have said, I can recommend Machinist X99 Armor 9A for CPUs with 10, 12 cores, maybe even 14 cores. But as always, you need to do your own research and figure out if you really need this motherboard, if it is going to work for you, and understand the risk that buying from AliExpress might go wrong. With this, I have to say thanks for watching, thanks for listening, I hope it was interesting and enjoyable. Bye-bye.